Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Well, it finally happened. My old faithful Windows computer is dying. Do you think it lasted six years? It was there when I started editing bloopers of CRISPR back in 2007. It saw me through the launch of Geekstop Perillo. And even when I had to do recordings for Chris himself. But it just got too old. I never imagined that Chris himself would send me a Mac. Let alone get me in touch with the people at Parallels to bring my old Windows computer back to life in a way I never would have thought of. At first when I opened the box and I saw everything inside, and I saw the transfer cable, I wasn't too impressed really. I just saw the transfer cable and said, no, oh, okay, it's a transfer cable. Yeah, so that means I'm going to have to go through a lot of hassle and whatnot with the onboard software trying to install itself and whatnot. But, uh, it actually turned out to be quite easy. I started by loading the software onto my Windows computer because I was afraid that it would die soon. So I waited for it to boot, and I had quite a bit of trouble. The stubborn thing decided that, uh, besides having a bad habit of just randomly shutting off, it had a really bad habit of not really wanting to boot either. So I gave it a couple of love tags now and then, just to make sure that it would perform as I required. You try a couple love taps, it does the trick, but you never know. After I got to actually boot, I went a step further and decided, okay, well, yeah, let's go ahead and just right now try and get it installed. So I opened up the, C the CD-ROM drive and loaded the disk in. I didn't have very high hopes. I was like, okay, this is going to take in about two hours for this software to install on this old slow machine of mine. But I was pleasantly surprised. And that's how easy it was.
Suddenly I had Windows and Mac OS X at my fingertips, thanks to Chris Perlo and the Peepop Parallels. You would not believe the advantages of having both operating systems at your fingertips at the same exact time. I don't think I could ever go back to the way it was just using Windows. There is so many aspects of OS X being used with Windows that I could not live without these days. For example, being able to command zoom in certain circumstances is just something I could not ever do without now. And there are many other advantages too, like being able to use GIMP without having to use Wine and being able to use my favorite browser Firefox the way it was on Windows. Is just something I could not live without. I know it's available for Mac OS X too, but there's something about the Windows version that just holds its appeal to me. You got Sony Vegas and Adobe Audition and several other programs that you just cannot find on Mac OS X yet that I cannot live without. I'm so glad that this has happened and I'm hoping that someday I can help someone else the way Chris Perlow and Parallels helped me.